Hi and welcome to another quick tip. Uh, my name is Mr. Selig and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, program trap hi-hats in different ways. Uh, the first way, the easiest one but hard to do is um, you just click in the notes into the MIDI clip here on the piano roll like I did for this example. We just hear the hi-hats. You have full control, but it's a lot of work and if you want to vary the patterns uh, in many different ways, that's a lot of work to do. So there's a, an easier way to do it. You just uh, program a pattern with the lowest rate you want your hi-hats to repeat. Uh, I choose four fourth notes here. Sounds like this. Okay, and now in I use a MIDI effect arpeggiator in the effect chain, put it in front of my simpler which uh, is playing the hi-hat and if I change the rate here in the arpeggiator the repetition of the hi-hats will change. Okay. Uh, that way you can use this knob to um, yeah, change the rate, just as it states here. And um, you can use it as a macro, you can use it in automation, you can use it on a MIDI controller and just control it with a knob um, on your controller. So you can uh, easily record different automations and arpeggios. But there's also a third way, uh, which is a little more controllable, I think. And for that we need a MIDI effect rack, which I already set up for you. Um, the trick with this effect rack is that every effect chain here um, is triggered by a different note. I start at three, uh, C3, sorry, um, then C sharp, D, and so forth. And every note stands for a different repetition rate. I put a pitch effect on every chain so I can pitch down the note which is played. So for example when I play C3 um, I have a rate of fourth notes but the pitch stays the same because I want the sample to be played in C. Um, if I play C sharp I have to pitch the note down one uh, half step so I get C again but the rate of the hi-hats will be sixth notes then uh, for 8 notes we will play D, so pitch goes down two half steps to C again and the rate would be 8 notes, but uh, the pro of this method is I can easily program the beat via the MIDI notes because every MIDI note now means not I'll pitch up the hi-hat sound, but I'll change the rate the hi-hat is played in. So listen to this clip. And as we see, different notes trigger different hi-hat patterns here. And I can easily program the beat this way. You could also uh, do 128th notes and so forth. I did just 4th um, notes to 64th uh, notes, which should be enough. Just uh, duplicate this. Name this one 128. Oh, sorry, this should be one. Okay, then I have to put down the pitch one half step more to nine and increase the rate to, oh, it's 96. Okay, and now pull this to A. And if I play an A here, We see I trigger the 96 notes and that way I can program a beat very easily if I want to. Okay, I hope you learned something today. Um, leave me a comment if you like to and uh, check out my next video here on Salex Vault. Uh, have fun with it.